Hey guys, this is a quick demonstration video and before we begin, as always, if you find this helpful, please let me know in the comments or give me a, a, a like or a thumbs up to help mount my ratings here. Um, quick run through, it's going to be two separate tests of the same material. The one on the right that you're looking at right now is 925 Sterling. It's a charm that I know the background of and I bought it myself at a store, so it's re it was reputable. I know it happens to be silver. The one that's being scratched right now is a piece of zinc alloy jewelry and zinc alloy is being put out there a great deal as sterling by fakers essentially putting it out there because it is very shiny and it is very white in color so this is a great little test to get this done I'm using 18 karat testing fluid I'm not using the silver nitric acid but you can use the 18 karat gold testing fluid and it works just fine you just gotta make sure that the lights are done better than what I do in this video the first test there's a glare you can't quite see it but the second test works out great so this is the first test. I'm speeding up through it real fast because the glare kind of messes up the ability to see what's going on. You can kind of tell what's happening. I adjust the lights a little bit. And the end result is this. You, on the right-hand side, that's the little charm, little 925 sterling charm, all that little silver residue. That's the silver left over that's been burnt. It's burned away all the extra impurities. The one on the left, that is the zinc scratch. It's gone completely. So I'm going to rinse the stone off, bring it back over, scratch the same ones again, show you what's going on with them, and we'll see the actual reaction happen in real time. All right, so once again, there's the stir there's that's the um, zinc alloy jewelry. Looks very silvery. Put a few scratches on the on the stone. And then we get the silver charm on the other side. And you already tell the, how it looks. You see that little uh, one looks a little more red, like it's got like some copper in it maybe. The one on the right's much more silver in color. And we drip a few drops of acid on the left and the right. Just cover it all up, and you'll notice eventually the zinc just dissipates completely. It just becomes almost invisible under the acid, where the silver leaves a large, very kind of milky colored silver behind. That is essentially powdered, unpolished sterling. I'm not sterling because it's burned away the impurities. It's basically just silver at that point. It's very pure. It basically just proves that what the, the, the item on the right was, in fact, silver. And guys, that is my video. I hope you find it helpful. Again, the right half, that is the sterling silver. The left half, that is the zinc knockoff jewelry that sometimes scamsters put out there as being, as being real silver. Thanks for watching.